break 25 years of reporting. Newsround's rock and roll years, a step back in time. In 10 minutes, cartoon comedy in Rocky Races. That's after John Craven's Newsround. There's good news tonight for Tom and Jerry fans. An MP has called off his campaign to get the world-famous cartoon series banned. And the reason he's changed his mind? A huge protest from children. stones at soldiers has become almost a regular pastime and a potentially dangerous one for some children in the troubled areas of Ulster. As you may already know, the country is going through pretty hard times at the moment. There are shortages of oil, petrol and coal, and threats of power cuts. And to be on the safe side, our government is asking everyone to use as little oil and petrol as possible. <laughs> Donkey rides on the beach are going to cost more this year. The cost is going up because of a new tax called value-added tax that everybody will have to pay now that Britain's in the common market. And finally tonight, a story from the other side of the world where the temperature is now up in the 70s. Surfing among the breakers off Australia's Queensland coast. It's a sport that seems to be dominated by young, handsome, suntan people. But maybe they're not all that they seem to be. Among the things lost by surfers along the seashore, they've discovered more than 200 sets of false teeth. What you might call a knockout sport. In the year 3000, I'm quite sure now that men will be making routine flights all over our solar system. And those men will look back and say it was the Skylab flights in 1973 and 74 which made it all possible. Simply uh, grasp the handles firmly and uh, do our thing here in Skylab.
It hasn't been a mania like this since the days of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, and that was getting on for ten years ago. I like their looks, I reckon they're a good group, they can sing, they can play instruments, they just got talent. get from Bangladesh seems to be bad news of disasters, cyclones, floods and famine. So we've come to Bangladesh to try and find out what life is really like for the young people of this country. Judging by her expensive sari, this girl comes from a well-off family. But only yards away there are families whose home is the pavement and who beg for food. Their plight is just one of the many problems in this country which was officially created only five years ago. That's perfection. Even in a plane, you can spill a drink all over you if you go through bad weather. Not here. You can raise your cup to your lips, even when the train's going at its top speed of 125 miles per hour, and drink without spilling a drop. And our shock decision by pop star Gary Glitter. He said that he's giving up his career and retiring, but neither he nor his manager will say why. The worst plane crash ever, and today the experts try to work out how on earth it could have happened. Hello again. The holiday island of Tenerife, off the coast of West Africa, is a very sad place tonight. Throughout the day, teams of workers have been trying to clear away the wreckage of two jumbo jets that collided as they were about to take off. By the rivers of... are sinking. Cambridge are going down. That is the end of the race. There's no way now they can pick themselves up again. There are so many big rainbow trout in the river now that every day after school the banks are lined with hopeful young anglers. So what do you do with all these fish? Just keep them, take them over and eat them for tea. Some loving had me a blast. I met a girl crazy for me Met a boy cute as can be Summer days drifting away To another summer night The biggest experiment ever to make it rain when we want it to is now, uh, soon to begin rather, in central Spain. What will happen is that planes will be flown up through the clouds and millions of tiny chemical crystals will be dropped into them. This should make the water droplets in the clouds heavier, 
and that extra weight should force the clouds to turn into rain. Well, I don't like bang bangs, but I like boom boom. <laughs> In 1975, happiness came to an end in Cambodia. A new and vicious government took over, led by this man, Pol Pot. Help us to reach our £100,000 target as soon as possible, and every little bit really does count. We've got some pictures here of Jupiter showing those swirling clouds, and it's just possible that at the north and south poles, in those cloud layers, there may be some form of bird life living. Britain's education bosses have sharply attacked the government's plans to make more cuts in school spending. Already there's a shortage of teachers, and it could get worse. Some councils say they now have to make further cuts in the number of teachers on their payroll. Now to the growing crisis in Poland, where it looks as if thousands of strikers have rejected a call to return to work. The strikes, which are very rare in communist countries like Poland, started nearly a week ago. And each day, more and more workers have been joining them. People will be all right for the next few weeks until they get their next food handout, if it comes. And if it doesn't, well, then they go hungry. This is John Humphreys for Newsround in the Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe. Again, a major campaign to ban lead in petrol was launched today. It's called CLEAR, which stands for the Campaign for Lead-Free Air. Various tests are carried out comparing children with higher lead levels and lower lead levels. And what has been established is that the children with the higher lead levels have the worst performance at school and the most behavioural problems. This time.
of the pop group Musical Youth went back to school in Birmingham today. They've spent the last few weeks touring Britain and Europe since their song Pass the Duchy became a number one hit. But now the boys will have to settle down to some ordinary schoolwork. I thought it might just sell about 10,000 copies, but it's sold over a million, which came as a shock. Thank you all. You're all wonderful people. I'm very embarrassed, but thank you. Vote Conservative. Vote for what's right for Britain. Think positive, act positive, and vote Labour. The Alliance is the party of good sense. Well, this is the big moment, the result of our Newsround Extra election. It's a landslide victory for the Conservatives. My mother started a fan club and it got a bit much for her to handle. Um, and then there was a, a, a delay in choosing who was going to take over from her. Is this the only holiday you'll get this year, then? Yeah. Yeah. What sort of sacrifices have you had to make? No ice cream, no, no, ice cream. no clothes. No. Not as many clothes and not as much pocket money. That's undergrowth over there, snoozing away at the moment, is one of the most beautiful of all wild creatures, the tiger. And Newsround Extra has come to an almost secret valley in the forests of Rajasthan in India to report on the amazing success in the campaign to save the tiger. There are people dying now, so give me the money. 
Thousands of pounds are still pouring into the Live Aid appeal after the massive 16-hour concert over the weekend. She claims to be able to speak to the gorillas. They can understand her and the other humans who are working on the project. But many of Coco's signs can only be understood by the researchers. So many other scientists and animal experts aren't convinced. Disaster for the shuttle, an explosion on Challenger. Hello again. Within the last few minutes, we've heard there's been an explosion on board the space shuttle Challenger. No one's sure exactly what happened. Recovery ships are standing by. Hello, Childline. Can I help you? Childline is the first helpline of its kind. It's open 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Despite losing a fuel tank, it's takeoff at last for the world's biggest balloon. Hello again. After taking off at dawn today, the hot air balloon belonging to British adventurer Richard Branson is now on its way across the Atlantic Ocean. How do you rate your progress on them? Uh, better than it was. Do you think you'd be able to do that at the start of the week? Well, I, I thought I might be able to, but I didn't really know. Today, Radio 1 can be heard in stereo in most of the country. So, for listeners with FM stereo systems, the sounds from Britain's top music station will now be much clearer. Top pop group Bross have had a hectic day trying to switch on three giant new transmitters. It's an exciting day for London Zoo, but also a very sad one. Cha-Cha has been here for 14 years, and he's a real favourite with the children. Especially for you.
standing here, it's hard to understand how such a thing could have happened. All around me, there's a great feeling of sadness, but also a real effort by the people here to bring comfort and support to those who've lost loved ones. On my way here to Potsdamer Platz, I asked my taxi driver what the people of the West call those from the East. His answer was simply Berliners, which shows just how much people on both sides of this great city welcome the breaking down of the barrier. And finally, this is the last time I'll be saying, and finally. And there's no funny story today because for me, this is a rather sad moment. I've come to the end of my very last news round. I've had a great time over the last 17 years bringing you the news at five o'clock, and I'd like to thank everybody behind the scenes who's helped me do it. It's rather like buying a puppy at Christmas. It's not just for Christmas, and the Terrapins, not just for as long as the Teenage Mutant Heroes are popular. It goes on and on. Humberside Education Authority has become the first to ban British beef from school dinners. Each day, their schools feed 70,000 pupils, and Humberside's education chief says he's just being careful. You're unbelievable. <laughs> You're so unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Home after five years in captivity, Terry Waite is back in Britain. Hello. The freed British hostage Terry Waite is back home tonight after 1,763 days as a prisoner. It's an overwhelming experience to come back and receive...